always continue to be able to express myself as best as I can. I grew up on the Isle of Man. Um, I lived on a farm there on the Isle of Man. I think I've always just had this thing to make and it's like sitting in front of the TV when you're six and you're just grabbing whatever's around and making a mess on your mum's carpet or grabbing hay bales and making dens in the shed and making obstacle courses around the farm and I look back now and I think of course I was a sculptor but I had no idea at the time and I had no idea what it meant to be an artist or why anyone would want that. My dad collects objects and paintings. The house is full of stuff which again probably feeds in and also he kind of He's, he can draw quite well himself, and whenever I used to draw anything, he'd always say, you know, if that was a real cow, I'd shoot it. He'd always pick up on what was right or wrong in a drawing. They've been 100% supportive, which I find amazing, because it's such a kind of... Um, it's quite a selfish thing to go and do, I think, to go and be an artist and to spend all this time. Like, I've spent now seven years since I've left high school in higher education, and that's... You know, you could have been a doctor in that time, and I think I always get the question from my nanny, you know, what are you going to do, dear? And, and you never know, like, you never know, you just kind of, you just live this life and see what happens, and it's all about kind of enjoying what's going on now and using that energy rather than planning too much. I went and sat in Paint and Zoo with them. Um, his name is Brutus, and he's a big mandrel, and um, for a couple of days just sat with him. I was drawing with paint with my finger, and he was drawing with his poo <laughs> on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's just a kind of a time spent with something and um, yeah it's it's not about a kind of making a picture it's creating a presence of the thing that it is it's actually one of the most important things in the work is that it is come from something real even though now the clay has become a bit more relaxed and has more room for for something else it's still very much because of something observed or something real the journey is everything and I couldn't have made what I'm making now if I hadn't have gone through all the rest of it. I think it has been an advantage in that it kind of allows a non sort of logical or literary thinking of anything and um, although I try to read it's not an obvious or natural thing to me even in the world around me I don't naturally read things. All my um, experience is down to the physical and, and it's sort of similar in communicating between people as well it's more of an instinct or a reading of someone's feeling than, a, than what's been said in words.